Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, we're gonna be testing the practicality of the DJI Avada drone for real estate videos. Now, I'm not a huge fan of interior shots with drone, and especially in the past, because most drones would hit a wall, or they could, and you would break, uh, you could potentially damage something. But this drone has, is a different design, right? Where you could fly it inside without much risk involved. So in this video, we're gonna see how well you can control it from outside. So I'm gonna be out here. I'm gonna fly starting at the front door. I'm gonna go up the stairs and then out the window just to see how practical it is to actually fly this thing interiors uh, for real estate. All right, so I have it turned on. I'm not gonna use the goggles, but I'm gonna use my phone as an exter external monitor. So I'll just fly right here. Now I've been flying drones for several years, so we'll see how, challenge, how challenging this is. All right. Not very practical. <laughs> All right, well, that didn't go quite as planned. I think it might be easier with the FPV goggles because when I'm looking at the screen, it's kind of challenging, but I ran right into, I wanna say this, and it crashed, but there's no visible damage on the drone, so we'll give it another shot. All right, this time I'm gonna be following it. as we are following the drone, we'll see how the footage looks. One thing I'm not a huge fan of the FPV drones is that it looks really, really fisheye. So it's hard to match footage if you're using another drone and then specialize shots with this, but we'll see if we think it's usable. All right, guys, that's it for this drone test for real estate videography. Uh, in my opinion, it's not the most practical drone for real estate videography, but there are use cases where it can definitely come in handy, especially when some people are adamant about using a drone on the inside. This one it poses less risk, uh, in my opinion, but it is still pretty challenging uh, to go through the property. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this drone and about using it for real estate videography in the comments below, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.